What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to teach you and I'm going to show you how to create a neural network using uh, the sklearn library. So, as you can see, this code is super, super short. And you're going to see that in order to create a neural network with this library, it is super simple. So, the first thing that we have to do in order to create that is to import the class that we that will create that. So for that, we go to a scalar uh, neural network and then we import the MLP classifier, which means multi-layer perceptron, multi perceptron classifier. So once you have this, you can create your neural network. So for that, you put here this, the constructor, and now you have to set some arguments. So the first one being the hidden layers uh, configuration. So in order to set that configuration, you need to use a tuple. And for example, here we are saying that we have three hidden layers and the first one has 20 neurons, the second one has 10 neurons and the third one has uh, or, or another 20 neurons. Uh, the next argument is the number of epochs that we want to have in the in the multi-layer perceptron that we want that the multi-layer perceptron use in order to uh, train itself. So for that here we have this uh, argument which you can put the number that you want here. Of course you have to put a high number so your model is well trained. So once you have that you already have a multi-layer perceptron and you have the neural network and you can do whatever you want. So for example here we have this function which is the crossball score, which is to check how many errors do we have in a data frame. So I have this data frame here from my university that the university gave me, and it's just something to check if you have diabetes or not, well, whatever. So we load that here with a NumPy, with this function, and then we have to set which is the X and which is the Y. So the Y refers to the class, to what we are predicting. So for example, here, if it is a one, it means that the user, well, the sample is a dia diabetic, <laughs> diabetes person that has diabetes. And if it is a zero, it means that it doesn't have diabetes. So in this uh, column, we have that and we store that in the Y uh, variable. And here in the X, we store all the attributes. So in the X, we store all the information about the attributes and in the Y, we store the class. So once you have that, you can use this function in order to check how well did your, your neural network did. Uh, do. <laughs> so once you use this function, you just have to use the, well, you just have to send as an argument the neural network, then the X, the attributes, and finally the uh, Y, which is the, the class. The cross validation function does something very uh, cool, which is that it divides the, the data in some parts. And for example, let's say that we divide the data in four parts. So one part will be used to, to test and the other three will be used for training. But in the next iteration, what we do is that instead of using this part as a test, we are going to use this one, the third one. So we use the other ones as test, but this one is going as, as training and this one is going to be used as a test. And in the next iteration, we use the second one and then in the next, we use the first one and that's it. So once we know this and once we have this, we can execute this and I'm going to execute it step by step so you can see how everything works. So first we load the data and here we have a big uh, array, a NumPy array, a NumPy matrix. So now what we have to do is that we need to take the attributes and store them in the X variable. Once we know, once we've done that, we can continue. And now we have to store the, the Y, which is the class. So here you can see that this is only an array with one value, but the X has a, is a matrix because it has a lot of values. So each row is an array. So once we have that, we declare the multi-layer perceptron. And as you can see here, it's as simple as that. You don't need anything else. So if we want to, if we want to check the object, you are going to see that there is a lot of information. Let me do this bigger. So here, there is going to be a lot of information, but I recommend you going to the sklearn library and you will see there the, all the information. 
So yeah, once we've done all that, we just need now to use, well, to execute this function, the cross ball score. So once you execute it, it will take time because it is testing all the data. And once the data is tested, you can check how well your neural network did. So for example, here, if we do this, we can see that in the 91% of the, of the data, our neural network was successful. So that is very good. So another thing that we can do is that we can fit data. Like for example, instead of using this cross validation score to check if something is well, we can build a model based on the data. So for example, what we can do is that we can use the neural network, then use fit, and we are going to train the neural network. So with this, we are going to train the network. And now what we can say is that, for example, let's say that we receive the the second row of the x values so we want to know if that is going to be a one or a two so for example let's say that this second row that we are going to use is a new value in that case we are going to predict if that value is going to be a one or a zero so for that what we do is to use the method predict so we send uh, here this for example let's say that we are going to use the second one this one and let's say that this one is a new one and with this method we are going to see that we get uh, the prediction of the model after we train the model with all the data the cross validation score doesn't really train the model what what it does is that it only trains the model for the test but after this test the model that is not trained so that's why we use here the fit because after you use this the model is trained and you can use it to predict things but after the cross validation you cannot so we do the same again we use uh, the cross validation with that score now we train the model and now we predict so yeah this was an error because i think that i have to do this to put this in a two-dimensional array but yeah let's execute this now again and you're going to see that now everything will work okay so everything is loaded let's say and yeah everything works so the execution should be shown somewhere but i don't know where it is shown here it is so for example it predicted a one let's do this again so we can see that uh, well so if we now continue you are going to see that now this predicted a one so that was not that was not everything so for example now what i have here is this document which is based on the scikit learn scikit learn uh, documentation so in the scikit learn documentation you have a great example in which you have different data and uh, it is shown how each model of the of the uh, scikit learn library predicts uh, this data so for example here what i did is that i just loaded the neural network but everything is based on this link so you can go to my github and you can download this but you can also check that link so once we've done that you can see here that for example given this data the neural network predicted with a score of a 95 percent uh, this and it separated the data in this way so for example here it happened the same but instead of the previous way now it did a circle saying that hey all these values are from this class and yeah so this was uh this had a score of 88 and yeah that's so it. yeah that was everything for this video i hope you enjoyed i hope you understood how to create and how to use a neural network with sk learn and if so give it a like share subscribe and see you in the next one Mm -hmm. Estoy bajando todo, lo siento, te quedas en el nombre, este impuesto.